3D maze program that we did <coughs> last week or last month. Um, I've done some things to it to try and make it useful for something rather, rather than just looking pretty. Uh, so if I do that, and what's that one? Okay, what's that? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so these this is the uh, this is the program um, that I put together. It's in uh, Python. Um, it's written in Python. It's written in V Python. V, v Python turns out to be a basically a graphics library for Python um, to deal with three D bits and pieces. Um, and this is also done in GlowScript, which is a an online Python um, thing, uh, which turns out to be quite useful because it means you don't need to install anything um, to run it. Uh, so it's a basic uh, 3D um, maze simulation. So you can see there's a blank, completely blank maze. Um, you can now uh, actually load up a, uh, a standard maze file. So if you get nice APEC mail, maze, um, you can move it around, you can go inside it, uh, you can, you know, sort of change the, the view so that you can twiddle around inside the maze, sort of thing. Um, Okay, the, um, right, what, what GlowScript allows you to do is to embed this into a, a web page. Um, so you can actually, I think what GlowScript is, is a, 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 um, a compiler that compiles it, the uh, Python code into JavaScript. So it'll actually create a, a JavaScript um, version of the program in, embedded in an HTML code, which you can actually just paste in um, to your to your web page to allow you to uh, to display things. Um, so so you could embed a, a you know and just display a maze like this rather than the, the normal picture. Um, the other thing this can do is it's got a mouse in it, which you can drive about. Uh, like, yeah, so there's a, that's one of the one of the mice. Um, so you can drive it about a maze. You can also uh, use a log file. So this is a, a log file that was created by the Terminator mouse, and uh, so you can get it to do things like this. You can see the the walls appearing um, on on ones that it that it hasn't uh, got. So uh, it's really just a case of what people think that they can do with this. So th this this maze was created from the log file. So this is the actual maze that uh, that uh, the thumper mouse has has gone round and uh, run. Um, and you can get this at um, so because it's all because it's all online. Um, you can download a thing from well, this uh, this URL, I should be able to uh, let me think on this beard. one I should be able to put it in the, the chat okay. so I'll put the, the URL in the chat um, so you can go there see how it's done but the the V Python makes it very easy to to do things like this to 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 create all the uh, the 3d um, bits and pieces. Yep. 
we haven't got is uh, any collision and stuff. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, Derek, Derek what are you what are you using this for? Uh, well, that was I, I used it initially just to try and make a three D editor because you can also move the walls. Um, but I can't find a way to actually save the maze, which is a bit odd. Uh, it appears that uh, browser security gets in the way of every of actually allowing you to create a file that appears on the, on your machine. I'm sure there is a way of doing it. I'm not. You know, this is this is probably the first program. Uh, that I've ever written in Python. Um, so I'm sure there's a way to do it somewhere. Um, but basically, it's a, it's a way, it's quite a good way to display mazes. Just, yeah, looks a bit more flashy than the, the normal one. So you could embed this into a, uh, into the website to, to display various mazes when we, you know, when we have them. Um, but also, it can be used to. It, it could be used with uh, Rob's um, BLE system, um, which could send information from the mouse directly or, um, as it's going along, and this could, you know, display it. Display it would be great if you um, could um, uh, somewhere um, describe and publish the details of the logging. Uh, the contents of the logging file, so that some people could maybe try and generate that from their own robots, and then they they would know what you know it would understand. I could do that. Yeah, obviously that's my proprietary. That, it, that's just um, whatever log file uh, you wanted to actually um, actually use. Sure, but it would be nice if, if there were you know some kind of standard that people could look at and say, oh, if I if I spew this out from my mouse as it's running around, I will be able to play it in uh, that system. Yeah, oh, I was just trying to, um, just gonna, can I put that up? There you go, this, this is the actual log file that it created it from. So it has a, a text maze at the beginning, and these are all uh, basically cell information as it goes to each cell. So yeah, so it's really simple stuff. It just says cell number of the cell, and the, the final bit is the uh, the binary um, for the for the walls. So it, it just outputs that all the time. This could be streamed directly through a you know through um, Bluetooth, or in this case, it gets written onto a, an SD card, and you can put it in later. But you could add to that the, the values from the sensors and all sorts of things. Unless you're using BLE, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be ideal for that actually, because the the app can can uh, acquire a specific cell or all sorts of things. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I, I was just asked to um, uh, a couple yeah. of people asked me to uh, put that out. Um, so it's there for anybody to do what they want to do with. What's the difference between the normal and the version two one that's on that link? The version one one is just a display. It's the one I had last month. Right. And it's really just useful for um, just displaying. Because um, what you can do is at the top here is a table, which is in this case is a blank maze, but you could paste in there a standard maze that um, Pete's, maze tools create C files which have this in. You've just got to change a couple of brackets to make it Pythony rather than C. Um, and then it will just display it will just display that maze and let you look at it and then you can embed that code into your um, into your you know website or web page. I would appreciate it greatly if it would um, read the text based maze files. It could do that. Yeah. Um, the, the other one has all the, the logging and the mouse moving stuff in it, which is why it's, why it's longer. Okay. Um, you didn't see any of that, did you? Did, I did show the, uh, yeah, where it's yeah. It, it in the wrong presentation. Did you, okay. yeah, go back to uh, that thing. Um, 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this table just at the top is a blank. Oh, oh my light has gone. Okay. Yeah, this is a blank maze, so that's where you could paste in the, uh, the thing. Uh, but it, I, it could be made to uh, to read in a text maze I think without, without too much difficulty. Um, how would that help? Just because uh, the maze is all over the place. Well, the, um, the, the text mazes are the ones which are easier to visualize and see if you open up a file, they're easier to edit by hand. <laughs> uh, and they're the ones which, um, all my software at least, generates by default. If you dump out the, the stuff from the mouse, that's that's what you look at. You even have one in your log file. So if we could just read that back. Yep. That nice. Well, as, as I showed in that log file, that, that's exactly what was in there. It's a text mm -hmm. version of the, uh, the file. Um, so yeah, it can do that. So yeah, they, you know, for for the people who wanted to uh, see that program, they can get it from that link, which is in the uh, in the the chat. And uh, I'd be interested to see what people do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can probably you, you might be able to use it as a um, uh, you know to project a big picture of the thing, maybe avoid having a big camera over the top of the maze and uh, connect it to <laughs> connect it, connect the, um, the, the thing to something like this, but. Uh, heresy, heresy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Derek. Sorry. It will be possible to use this in the hardware in the loop? You place a real mouse and uh, talk to your uh, maze making hardware in the loop. You know the concept hardware in the loop? You, you make a real mouse. You can certainly connect this directly to yes. the mouse via Bluetooth, Bluetooth or whatever or and transmit. And, yeah, and transmit the information yeah. and have it live run, you know, showing yeah. where the mouse is yeah. in the maze. Uh, yes, you could definitely do that. Yeah, that's it. That's the way of, of using that. 